So hello guys, uh, wow, this is Royal Kim here again, so if you're new here to my channel, my name is Royal Kim and I am a YouTuber and right now I'm coming live from Nyabohans, Migori Count, yeah, at Ayamaro's place and today I'm recording, it's almost midday here and actually I'm coming from uh, Cloud Joseph place, you guys know Cloud Joseph, the YouTuber, huh? from Nyabohans. He's a big YouTuber. Oh, I wanted to go and say hello to him and Minhawi. They were doing a project together. And yeah, so today I woke up. It was my off day. I wasn't working around uh, a Mara site. And I decided to do something for that day. Because personally, you know, we are not strong, eh? I mean, every single human being is never, never, never strong. So I just felt like a uh, I was battling with some few things in my heart and I and I wanted to I wanted someone to talk to and I chose them they were I feel like they are the right people to talk to yeah and uh, I visited them and guys to be honest for sure for sure I don't feel like I am the same same person again because I just feel changed I feel refreshed I feel new yeah Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know. Those guys were amazing. Like, I opened up to them because I was even battling with some, some things myself personally, even before I came to Ayamara's place, you know. And I talked to them, I explained to them, and I told them, you know what, guys, please, I need your help. How can I do this? You see, Cloud Joseph is a young man just like me. I wanted to talk to her, to him, I, I'm sorry. And Sil Minhawi is my sister. Yeah, and I still wanted to hear something from her. And we prepared some tea with the bread. We ate, we talked. They inspired me. I feel strong, energetic. I mean, guys, I have never felt, felt like this again. I don't know. Something is happening in my life. Something is, something is changing. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know whether you guys can see me clearly. It's almost midday here, and... Uh, uh, the sun is almost at the middle there, yeah? but it's okay guys, I know you can see me, you can hear me. So this is the vibe, you see that motorbike, see, you can, you can really meet um, vehicles around here, it's just motorbikes, people walking from the homesteads around here, so it's a good place, I wish it was in the morning, you could see these trees, they're so cool, see, planted forests, and all that yeah so guys I I talked to them and actually I'll have a video coming out when they were advising me when I was talking to them I just felt so so happy and we talked at length we talked a lot of things I'm so happy I mean I feel so so energetic I just feel like I'm going to be the next millionaire <laughs> I've ever been in this situation whereby you uh, you're feeling weak and uh, you're battling with some things, some things, and then you talk to your friends or maybe uh, experts on on the same same field, and then after they advise you, you feel like, oh, now I see where I was missing the mark. You see? So guys, to be honest, right now, I feel like I know how to become a millionaire, <laughs> and I, it's like I know how now to buy my own land in Nyabohans. I mean, I now understand the formula to solve this math, yeah. So guys, um, welcome again. If you're new here, let me introduce myself again. My name is Royal Kim. You can see that name over there, K-H-W-E-M. Guys, I want you to share my channel, to share my videos. Tell your friend to subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And even if we hit that 1,000 subscribers, we have another journey to hit uh, 4,000 watching hours. Guys, we need to monetize this, this channel. We need to do projects together here, okay? So please make sure you watch our videos from the start till the end, yeah? Yeah, support your boy. Support your boy from Kitui. Support your boy, the hustler from Nairobi. But I, in the next, like, uh, I, I won't mention the duration, but I'm very sure, very soon, you guys gonna give, you, you'll be giving me new titles. I'm gonna be the next big thing at my own level, you know? No competition, guys. A disclaimer. I'm gonna be the next, the next big thing in my world. 
from where I come from. My mom is gonna be so proud of me. My friends are going to be so, so proud of me. Yeah. Guys, I don't know whether you can actually see me, but it's obvious. You see, personally, I have a dark skin, but we have an advantage of the sun. Yep. And I was battling with self-esteem. But to be honest, guys, you see, I'm, I'm supporting my hand here so that I can hold the camera comfortably because I'm not sure whether when it's shaking, you're comfortable watching. So, guys, I was battling with uh, I was battling with uh, self-esteem because of uh, the different environment I've been exposed to, you know, before I came here. I've been in an, an environment whereby I, before I lost my job, I was working in, in a place, in a job area whereby I had the lowest status, yeah, the lowest status. So my team and I used to be like the punching box. We used to be, we used to be the, the minor team, the junior team. And uh, most of the times we used to have these conversations with my friends. So you know what? Someday we will just get out of here, you know, and have a good life, you know, so that at least people can can uh, perceive us as someone. I mean, can can see us as just good people like another one. You see, yeah. <laughs> you see, English is not my mother tongue. I'm actually trying because I wasn't even used to fluency in English. Yeah, it's tough, not easy, but I'm trying. I know you can understand me. I, my English, I'll give it at least uh, out of 10, like 3, 4, and that is better to communicate, yeah? So guys, I, I'll, I'll, uh, if you're new here, please, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I don't know, a lot of things, are, I don't know what I can say exactly is coming, but I'm very sure. A lot of stories are coming here, a lot of videos are coming here. And I'm going to grow every single day, you know, emotionally. It's not just um, in numbers wise. You guys also need to watch someone who is, who is emotionally stable, you know. You don't want someone who will just come here and make noise to you. You need someone who will come and add value to you. And I want to be that person. Guys, I want to be that person. And that's why I want you to continue supporting me. I see your comment here, your support, your like, your sharing. It's going, it's going to support and even improve uh, the growth of my em emotional base, you know, and all that. Because I tell you, doing content, if you happen to get 90% um, of comments that are negative, you might end up giving up, you know. But I'm so happy because the team that I have here, you guys are always encouraging me, always. Man, thank you so much, Team Mara, because you guys are very, very, very good. I don't know. I don't want to exaggerate explaining about you, but you guys are just awesome. You're the best, yeah? And I promised myself and promised my friends when we were talking that I'm gonna work hard, that I'm gonna put my all energy into this because I'm, I want to, as I sleep, as I wake up, I want to focus on how I can feed you with the best and the nice stories, the nice, the nice content, the nice guests. If I bring in, Look at that motorbike. People are coming. Ah, I missed that one. I needed to show you. People are coming from uh, the farm, the shamba. Mm -hmm. From weeding, from plowing. They're carrying jembes and those stuffs. Look at that. Look at that one. Wow. I don't know if they are coming from a vesting or what. Guys, I really fear that. You see that? Uh, that's Tiba. That's Tiba uh, lorry coming. Last day, I will once give you a story of this uh, lorry, what happened to me in Nairobi. I got an accident with my friend. And every time I see this one, I always run away. Because I remember my friend died on the spot. See that one? That lorry is always written Tata on the front part. I don't like seeing that lorry. What happened to my friend? And I was almost, I was almost a ninja to be called the diseased. God gave me a second chance. I will, if you want to hear that story deeply, guys, just comment down there. I'll tell you everything. Yeah? Guys, we are almost on the tarmac road right now. We're going to be heading down to Nyabohansi. It's midday here. That's why. 
the video has a lot of light. Let's see what will happen when we face the other side. I don't know whether it will be against the light or what. Yeah, guys, so this, city, this is uh, near Bohansi. See the tarmac people. Uh, see another cheaper lorry. I really fear those lorries. Yep. The government of Kenya is doing a really good job here with the tarmac. Tarmac is very, very strong. See? And it's like they have, uh, they have repaired it. It's very, very strong. So, shout out to our government. And uh, the county government of Migori. They're doing a good job here. So, guys, yeah. I think the video looks better now. So, it's, it's story time. So, now I have left that road. That is uh, diverting to Cloud's place. Now... Uh, I am going down to, to Nyabohansi and today I have decided to just walk and give you stories of Nyabohansi. Look at that car man. People are driving comfortably here, no jam, you know. Wow. You see up there? Up there is uh, the border town, Sirare. And in just a few steps you are in Tanzania. The other day I did a video around there but I will do another one. Look at that messy Ferguson tractor. Guys are going to plow. Yeah. It's always farming season here. It's always January to December guys are doing agriculture here. You know? It's not like my place. You know, I'm not saying that my place is bad, but for agriculture, Kitui County, especially Eastern, not that good. But I'm proud. I'm proud of that place. So if you're watching from Kitui Eastern, man, I love you guys so much. That's our home, but you know what, we always have to look for better. We deserve better than that. Guys, I really love this forest. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you this cool. Look at these planted forests. Wow. I just feel like, you know, taking a nap around here. See guys, today I'm off and I... Look at, look at these trees. They are so nice. Wow. There is someone doing a project down there. I don't want to go. I don't want maybe to face what I faced in Tanzania the other day. But guys around here are so cool. Even if I record, I know they are used to guys shooting around here. See, one funny thing with Nyabohans, this place, they are used to seeing people with cameras shooting around because we have a lot of YouTubers from here, actually. Courtesy of Ayamara. This guy has inspired a lot of people. Young boys, young girls, making a lot of money with YouTube. They are doing projects, and I, one thing I love about them, they have emulated something for Mara. Even if they make a lot of money, they don't just put that money into waste. They help their families, they help others, they do projects, you know, they buy land, and a lot of things, see? And that is the kind of friends that I want around me, see? And they are so welcoming. People like, someone like Cloud Joseph, he's a very big guy. But he just welcomed me into his home today. Very comfortably. Very comfortably. You know? We, we, we had tea together uh -huh, with Minhao, our boss's advocate. Please, you guys, if you don't know, for those who don't know, maybe Cloud Joseph and Minhawi, please go and check out them on YouTube. And check out my boss, Ayamara, if you're watching in this channel today and you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, Aymara is a, a world traveler. He's the biggest traveler in Kenya actually and maybe in East Central Africa and maybe in Africa. Actually in Africa he's the only, I think Mara is the only big uh, traveler. No, I know there are a lot of travelers around Africa but he's one of the big. I think he must be top two, either top two or top three, yeah? Go and check out Ayamarwa on YouTube and subscribe. Actually, right now he's on the road to 500 subscribers. 500k, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. Half a million subscribers. So, guys, look at this. This is so natural, just next to the tarmac road. And anyone can just go up there, you know, take a rest, meditate. I don't know. I was right when I say that one of my biggest dreams of coming to Nyabohansi is to heal, 
to heal from a lot of things and having such an environment around you. I have a few of lorries guys. Every time I see these big lorries, I kind of um, lose focus a little bit because I don't want to call it trauma or what because I have never accepted it and I will never accept since I had that accident. It was like, I, I even remember the date. It was on 7th of uh, October last year. On 7th. It was on a Wednesday. We had a very fatal accident with my deceased friend. Uh, may God rest his soul in peace. Final catch. He was a man of God, a family guy, a father, a, a husband. Yeah. And he'll always be in my memory. I'll once give you guys that story here. What happened? Guys, okay, so this is near Bohansi, and I'm just walking. Just walking slowly by slowly to near Bohansi town, you know, feeling the vibe around here. Today, guys, I, I'm official. Mm -hmm. So I say because I want to go and see Cloud Joseph and Minhawi. I, I do a lot of cash most of the time, you know, like sweatpants and sweatshirts and all that stuff today i wanted to wear an official shirt guys you know surprise for myself not from the usa <laughs> but if you want to surprise me from the usa it's okay you know i'll be happy to have a surprise official shirt from the usa you know wow so guys this is near Bohanse. look at that place i don't know whether that side can yeah that is it look at that road in the camera, I know it may look like a very long distance, but it's just a very short distance. And then you are in your Bohansi town. Wow. Let's try and talk to this young man over here. He's grazing the goats. I don't know. Let me try and talk to him. Brother, how are you? You're fine? You're not in school today. So what's your name? Can you tell us your name? Duncan. Duncan. Duncan, say hello to my YouTube family here. Do you know YouTube? You don't watch YouTube. You don't watch YouTube. You have a phone or oh, you're in school? Mm. You're in class 8 or which class? 7. Class 7. Mm. And today you're actually doing, you're grazing. Mm. Are you doing uh, the zero grazing or they are just free? Guys, look, Duncan is doing a... Uh, a little of the African village job here. I don't know whether I'm holding the camera the right way, but let me show you. This is his goats. See that like this goat is eating a mango. It's okay. Come, come. Not a mango, but an avocado. Is it a she or a yeah? She was taking a, an avocado. So Duncan, you does it mean that if you're giving that goat the avocado, like this place, you have a lot of avocados. They're in plenty. Guys, near Bohansi, we have a lot of avocado in a way that even goats eat avocado. You know, in Nairobi, that one is around 50. Yeah? You know Nairobi? Have you ever been to Nairobi? Wow. Which area in Nairobi? Which area? Nairobi. Oh, so Duncan knows Nairobi. So Duncan, thank you so much for your time. I was actually making a YouTube video and I just saw you and I wanted to say hello to you. Maybe tomorrow you'll be the next big man, Duncan, man. The next president of Kenya. I want you, when you become the president, or what do you want to become when you grow up? What do you want to become? Is it a politician or a doctor? Or what? what do you want to become after school? You want to become what? A teacher? A doctor? What? Tell us. Tell us before the camera. What do you want to become? Mm. Eh? Ending. Mm. Ending. It's okay, guys. Uh, let's leave Duncan to his job. Yeah. So, brother, thank you so much for your time. My name is Kim. Kim on YouTube. I know one day we will teach other people. Kim, you YouTube. Yeah. 
eh, zin sim mm. yenye unafaa kutumia mm. uh, unahitaji tu hii smartphone mm. then unaingia youtube smartphone yenye iko na kamera nzuri guys i'm trying to tell uh, my friend here mm. that he, is, he has asked me how he can you know do youtube and then i am just trying to tell him that he just needs a smartphone yeah so unahitaji tu sim tu kama ngapi ya pesa aha mm. uh-huh. Pesa unaweza ukanunua simu tu kama 10000 5000 bora tu iko na kamera hii mzuri smartphone hii una zivijua hizi smartphone zenye unacheza game nazo and then una unaisha hapa karibu unataka kufanya youtube video ndio ni nyumbani ni hapa nyumbani ni hapa mama atakuruhusu fanya youtube eh basi guys i think we need to open Duncan a youtube channel so Duncan i nyumbani ni hapa kwa barabara ni kuje siku nyingine basi ni kama ni kuje lini ndo ni kuje unataka kununua simu lini ama naweza nikakufungulia channel na hii yangu because all you need is a google account then a youtube then wewe tukutengenezee wewe ukipata tu simu mahali unafanya video na unataka kama itakuwa na video moja okay nataka kuanza lini sasa jumamosi jumamosi guys Duncan wants to do youtube Duncan if you're watching and you want to support Duncan to youtube I can give you his details and where he's just opposite uh, opposite uh, uh Maros place just very near and you see the young man wants to do YouTube so I don't know Duncan can I come later and maybe you can talk to your mom and we can organize on that okay thank you thank you for your time brother so guys that was Duncan and uh Duncan wants to do YouTube That is tricky. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Duncan wants to do YouTube and he wants to know how it happens. And I just told him that he needs a smartphone. Okay? Guys, one thing I believe about myself and this is just the beginning of my journey. This is Royal Kim and Royal Kim can do anything, everything as far as whatever it is that I'm doing is for God's glory giving back to the community yeah this is a uh, Duncan's place i guess yeah maybe that is their shop we'll try and come talk to them maybe we'll do a follow up video to Duncan maybe Duncan will be the next big thing in Yabohansi i don't know we will do that we will open a youtube channel for him even if we will use this phone then make sure that he has a google account maybe 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 his mom has a phone we we'll talk to him first in kenya you have to talk to parents first you can't just introduce kids to and then especially social media parents first you see he's still young he doesn't have an id you know so it's okay we will know what to do yeah so guys this 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 is nyabohans just walking towards nyabohans town yeah good vibe man I love this place. I think people don't have an idea of how much I love this place. This is a magical land, a healing land. Guys, actually I was talking about healing, yeah? And one of the things was immediately after I lost my father, just a few months, a few years, lost my very best friend on that road accident. And uh I was shocked because I was almost gone. Then God gave me that chance. Yeah. And a lot of other things that I will be telling you as time goes by. Okay? Mura mambo. Yeah. And when is today by the way? Young kids are not in school. When is today? Today is on a Tuesday, yeah. Why are they not in school? It's okay. That is not our business. Yeah? We are not the government. And we are not the parents. But it's good to see them. Sometimes it's healthy to question. Maybe There is an only day today and I don't know. The motorbikes here are very 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 quick and very fast, yeah. Look at this place. We are just grazing along the road, yeah. I love Nyabohans. So, this is my question. Uh, this fellow here has planted some corn along the road. So, my question is I don't know whether you guys can see this. Does it belong to anyone? Because it's along the road and this is the government's land. I don't know what is this. 
Okay. Look at that Land Cruiser. Royal Kim is going to drive one soon. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay. This is the hill that I saw when I was at Ayamara's place. See, Ayamara's place is somewhere, somewhere down there. And when you're there, you see these rocks is like a hill. So I would love to come and and maybe it's someone's compound, yeah? But maybe I'll ask for permission. I come and relax on top and make a video there. Yeah, I have to do that. I think I don't have a problem with talking to people. I know how to express myself. Because guys, we must climb these rocks very soon. At Puzikagwe, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I think I just need to get a friend. Not just a friend, but a girlfriend around here. You know, because sometimes you might be bored, you need to hike, to make some stories, you know, have fun, talk. Is it a bad thing, guys, to have a girlfriend? Please tell me. Is it a bad thing? Or do we have to always think of the negative things when we talk of girlfriends and all that? You know, having a girlfriend, you see, sometimes it's easy talking uh, to an opposite gender than the same, same gender friend. So a girlfriend, for me, it's easier talking to a girlfriend Actually, to be honest, sometimes having a girlfriend, I don't know, she makes me a little bit stronger and happier, you know. I don't know how God did this thing. Mm -hmm. You may find that someone is so motivated and with a lot of moral because they are with their girlfriend or their boyfriend. But when you're, you're with your same, same gender friend, you find like, a, you know, the mood is just normal. Look at this. School bus. School bus. Yeah. In Kenya, all the school buses must be yellow in color. Wow. Guys, I did it. I am just adjusting. You see, two days ago, I could not even hold this phone for like two minutes. Or maybe, no, not two minutes. Like 20 minutes like this. But right now, I, I... That is a government's car. UK. I could not even hold my camera this way, you know, for like 10 minutes. I could just get tired easily. Right now, I'm used. Maybe tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, I'll get used more and more. Yeah. Wow, look at Nyabuhante. This is a cool place. I don't know, guys, maybe we'll cross. I don't know if I know if we'll cross. I wanted us to relax somewhere over there. We have some nice trees there. And uh, some rocks. You could sit down there and see how the place looks like. See, guys, that corner. I don't know whether you can see it. That is the last corner. And then up there is near Bohansi town. Yeah. The Boda Boda guys, you love to give them 100 bob, maybe 70 bob. But I said that 70 bob might be someone's lunch. Or maybe it could be someone's internet to upload this video that I'm doing. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for always supporting me. And if you want to support me and my content creation journey, please check out my description. My number is there. Reach out to me. Support me if you want, man. My name is Royal Kim. I'm just building that name. It's not easy. It's Royal Kim. It means that I should have money. I should be rich. And that is where we're going. Yeah. So if you feel like, like God has blessed you so much with a lot, and you feel like you need to extend the hand, to Royal Kim and tell him, brother, man, go buy yourself something. Go buy bundle. Go buy yourself another new shirt. I'll appreciate, man, brothers and sisters from Kenya and all over the world. May God bless you so much if you do so. So, guys, um, yeah. Today, today I feel so happy and so encouraged. And, uh, like people around here, they're never, they're never worried when they see people holding phones, recording, because they are used. People in Jabohansi, they are used with YouTube. Because a lot of young men here, courtesy of Ayamara himself, the captain, everyone is becoming a YouTuber. And I was like, why not? I need to join that family, go and learn. I came here ready to learn. Guys, I told you I'm a, I'm a, I'm a video editor and I am a graphic designer. But I decided to put all that aside and come and learn afresh. 
because YouTube is a different thing, okay? YouTube is a very, very different thing. There is a lot of things you need to learn, and you need to learn from the experts, okay? And I haven't even edited any of my, any of my videos, like professionally with Adobe Premiere or what, all you know that. I'm just doing clips and upload them, but I prom first help me hit a thousand subscribers, yeah? And uh, there is that motorbike. <laughs> think that this is Naivasha. It's like safari rally. <laughs> this is a border border guy, you know, not everyone, not every border border guy. <laughs> He's no more. Others are just crazy. Others are, are just, um, someone might be high, you know. You understand? Others might just feel, but I don't like these motorbikes that, um, I don't know what they do to the exhaust pipe. And then, uh, they, they do make a lot of noise, you know, a lot of noise. I know the usual noise from um, the exhaust pipe when the motorbike engine is running, but I don't know what they do, especially in Nairobi, you find those motorbikes. They just make a lot of noise and it doesn't help with anything, you know. But it's okay. Maybe that is what makes them happy. So guys, everyone is free in this world. We just live once. We just have one life to live. And if you know what can make happy, just do it. Because you can live more than even 100 years, or maybe 150. You might be lucky to get to 100, but 150 might be a problem. So what you can do, do what makes you happy. Just like me here. I've always wanted to do YouTube, make videos on YouTube. And I have been fighting to get to this point. But guys, here I am. You know, a lot of inspiration from these guys from here. Um, let me give them a shout out. Starting with my boss, Sayamara himself. Young guys like David Jr., Cloud Joseph, It's Nasto. People like my Yugno, you know. A young boy who is 16 year old, like Getangita. Actually, I did a video, a collab with that young guy. And Getangita was... was <laughs> <laughs> I told him, bro, no, he wanted to pay me a flight ticket to Mombasa. And guys, you may think that is a joke. That young man, he, he has more than 4,000 subscribers. And I guess his channel, his channel is monetized. So he's doing his KCP. And after doing KCP, he wanted to visit Mombasa. And when I was new the first day, he told me, bro, check crazy. And actually, I'll pay you a, a flight ticket to Mombasa. And then I was like, Jesus Christ, no, I can't accept this one. This is this now is too much. A six 